Good evening, I'm Bob Baldacci, and welcome to Baldacci on Business. And this is our third installment of our new show format called Pitch Me. And before I introduce our special guest entrepreneur tonight, I'd first like to introduce our panel of experts. And first, on my uh, immediate left, is Elizabeth Baldacci, who is a principal of Baldacci Group. Elizabeth is an investor, uh, an officer at the Maine Angels, and has a long career in sales and marketing. And tonight, I'm very pleased to introduce uh, Debbie Elliott. Debbie is a longtime business owner and operator, uh, formerly with the state of Maine, working with the Department of Economic and Community Development. She's earned numerous national and state awards uh, for her business expertise. And uh, Debbie is also a partner of our other panelists who couldn't be here tonight, F. Lee Bailey. I'm the, the quiet partner. <laughs> you're the quiet partner. <laughs> Debbie, thanks for being here. Thank you. And Hugh Stevens from the University of Maine. Hugh uh, is the director of the Knowledge Transfer Alliance, which is the link between the university and the business community here in Maine. Hugh, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you. And Don Gooding. Don is the executive director of the Maine Center for Entrepreneurial Development and is the vice chair of the Maine Angels and an investor and just a, a fabulous resource for, uh, for businesses here in the state. So thank you guys. Thank you. We're going to have some fun Good tonight. Dear. And it's all about weddings uh, <laughs> in the air. So, uh, and Debbie, uh, with your background in the wedding industry, it's, gonna, it's great that you're going to be sitting on in this panel tonight. Uh, I'd like to introduce Jay Sandifer. Jay is employee number one of the firm Tide Creative. And he's going to talk about a, a, a fabulous new product that he's working on uh, with his, uh, with his uh, group of founders and entrepreneurs uh, actually located right across the street. So uh, Jay, without further ado, welcome to Thanks, Pitch Bob. Me. Thanks, I appreciate your time and the, and the esteemed panel for being here. Like Bob said, my name is Jay Sandifer, I'm with Tide Creative. We put together a little video that we're going to play now and it kind of encapsulates where we're at with Tide Creative. I spent the past 12 years working as a professional wedding photographer and internet entrepreneur. I've shot or participated in hundreds of weddings and helped build three online startup companies related to the wedding industry. My passion with technology and the wedding industry has led me to where I am today, building mobile apps that change the way people experience weddings. My journey took a sharp turn in August during a meeting here at Crema. I was meeting with a mentor, someone whom I talked to about startup ideas on a regular basis. He challenged me on a big idea. I challenged him to invest. And right here on the spot, he wrote me a check and became my first investor. Seven weeks later, a team of three partners and I launched our first product, Venue App. Venue App is a mobile application for wedding venues. We empower any wedding venue to have a clean and beautiful mobile app and to self-manage their app's design and content on an ongoing basis. The Venue App platform enables wedding venues to showcase the unique characteristics of their property map guests to points of interest in the area, and connect clients with recommended vendors, and leverage the venue-branded mobile photo sharing across social media platforms. The most important opportunity wedding venues have in the 21st century is to own the interaction that guests have with their mobile devices. Our next three projects leverage crowdsourcing in fun and useful ways. Prepare to Wed is an invite-only online wedding vendor directory that will be driven completely by vendor-to-vendor -vendor recommendations. The Prepare to Wed app will allow brides and grooms to budget, plan their wedding, and get expert vendor recommendations directly on their iPhone. Wedding DJ app allows friends to suggest, purchase, and vote on songs to be played at the wedding party. It's an intuitive way to make sure that everyone loves the music, everyone dances, and everyone has a great time. I Spy Love is an app that allows brides and grooms to crowdsource their wedding photography from the guest's mobile devices. Wedding photo albums will no longer be limited to a single perspective of the professional photographer. Everyone takes photos, and now everyone can contribute. I'm excited about what lies ahead. Our team is passionate about weddings, design, and technology. 
We love making a difference in the most important day in people's lives. We're Tide Creative, and we're changing the way people experience weddings. Jay, that was great. Great intro. Uh, so uh, make your pitch. Thanks. I appreciate that, Bob. Today I'm pitching to get some expert advice in the hospitality industry. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that and uh, a little bit about Tide Creative. We're a young, passionate startup based right here in Portland, Maine, actually right across the street at Think Tank. We're leveraging our wedding expertise design and passion for technology, like the video said, to change the way people experience weddings. The problem we're addressing is that current offerings are not meeting the expectation of savvy millennials, and they're not doing it in an intuitive and beautiful way. We're, doing, we're approaching this from four places. The venue experience, planning tools, music, and photography. The market for the size of the market is huge. So there's, 30, there's uh, 80 million millennials just in the U.S. alone, 2.2 million weddings in the U.S. each year, 3 million people planning a wedding at any given moment with an average of 144 guests per wedding. And we just found some statistics that just came out that on average the millennials are spending 231 minutes per month in photo and video sharing applications. This is a three-time increase over just last year. So you can see the huge opportunity that's in the market. We're creating a suite of apps. Each mobile platform addresses a specific pain point that a couple encounters in the wedding experience. We're leveraging mobile technology to make the wedding experience fun, easier, and more engaging for everyone involved. Our first product is Venue App. And the problem we're solving here is that wedding venues need to engage couples on mobile devices, but they don't know how. And in many cases, they don't even know that they have this problem yet. Mm -hmm. The solution is that we've developed a platform that with a few core feature sets that's easy to scale and price sensitive because it's built on a SaaS model. The market is around 35,000 hospitality properties across North America and the Caribbean. The second product is Prepare to Wed. Prepare to Wed the problem we're, we're, we're approaching here is that wedding vendors are constantly struggling with a way to market themselves and find new brides. And the couples are struggling with ways to find intuitive planning resources and trusted vendors. What we're creating here is an invite only vendor referral engine. And the opportunity here is also very large. There's 560,000 wedding vendors and venues just in North America. <coughs> Excuse me. The way we're going to monetize this is allow all these uh, uh, venues and vendors to recommend each other on our platform going back and forth. And once we've built up a specific number of them, we'll go forward with charging a nominal fee on a monthly basis. Our next product is one we're really excited about. We're a first mover in this space, and it's called Wedding DJ App. What the problem we found here is that couples who choose not to have a band or a DJ at their wedding don't really have a great way to play the music at their wedding. So our solution is we built a mobile application that will not only be easy to use, but also allow the guests to contribute to the, to the music list and really pull everyone in and, and make it a great experience for everyone at the wedding. The market size here is about 450,000 DIY couples, which is do-it-yourself couples. Mm -hmm. These folks are really, <coughs> excuse me, price sensitive. So they're looking for options that are, are cheaper and, and things that they can do themselves. So what we've done is we're pricing this at $4.99 we're putting it in the App Store, and uh, we hope to get some great traction on it. The next product is I Spy Love. And the problem we're addressing with I Spy Love is that couples who can't afford photography at their wedding, or when they do, they wait months to see the images from a single perspective. Um, the solution to this is what we've created is an application that will crowdsource the photography and notes from the wedding from guests on their mobile devices and in real time. The app gives the wedding images multiple perspectives mm -hmm. and captures private moments between friends and family that may not be captured by a, a photographer who may be hired for the event. The market here is also the, the 450,000 DIY couples, but we also believe that uh, the 2.2 million weddings are also taken into play because it adds something to the perspective of the wedding and not just the single uh, photographer shooting it. The way we're going to monetize this is all the images are pulled into a very nice presentation that the bride and groom, or couples these days, I guess, 
are able to manipulate and, and move around and choose favorites. And then we were working with some partners on leveraging that platform to sell those images and sell different products from it. So we're Tide Creative. We're passionate about startups. We're passionate about Portland. We're passionate about weddings. And we're changing the way people uh, are experiencing weddings. Jay, w well done. Well done. Great presentation. Panel, questions? I have a question. Uh, sure. Debbie. Jay, how, how do you reach, uh, who's your customer, and how do you reach that? How do you reach them? How do you reach the do-it-yourself person? Sure, well, we're creating relationship with wedding blogs, which is really the way that things are, are being done these days in the wedding world. So what we've done is built a series of infographics that we put out and given to wedding bloggers. Mm -hmm. So our most recent one was how to find the perfect wedding venue. So that's one of the way we're creating relationships with the people who have access to those, those DIY brides. What's the yes. uh, early traction you're getting? In well, the so we have one product that's in the market already, which is a venue app. And uh, so we started our company about three months ago. We have a, a couple of gratis uh, people using the app, and then we've sold a couple. So we're just beginning to get traction on that. Can you, can you tell me a little bit about you as a company um, not just the product you're selling, but how you set yourself up as a company. Sure, we're a corporation. We're very democratic in the way we do things. That's why I'm employee number one. <laughs> um, so uh, we really see ourselves as, as being technologists and passionate about weddings, and mm -hmm. we're creating these products because of the pain points that we've seen over the years. So I've been involved in hundreds of weddings. I've been involved in two startups. One was uh, called Pictage, mm -hmm. which is based in, in Los Angeles. And what we did was actually take negatives that photographers would send us, if you can believe this or not, they would actually send us their negatives in the mail, we would scan them in, and then put them up on the site for sale to, to their guests. So now that everything's digital, we don't have to take quite as many risks. So that's one of the, um, the avenues that we're approaching this from, is, is, is technology has allowed us to do things that we weren't able to do even when I was with that company, and we started that in 2002. Um, did I answer your question? Yes, yeah. that's yeah. fine. Great. Just go ahead, Elizabeth. So on the, I, I'm trying to understand, I mean, it, I'm a little bit confused because you have three different products or four different products going on? Four, four different, different products, products, that's correct. They're all focused around <laughs> weddings and specifically around pain points that couples experience when planning their wedding. Right. So, so the, I, I just, I'm branding and marketing. So you've got uh, the, the company um, Tide Creative, Tidal Creative. Mm -hmm. And then you have four different brands underneath that. What, so I'm just a little bit confused about why you haven't chosen to go with one market first, create your brand there, and then create products that you can then use that brand to sell. It seems like you've got four companies. So what, what is your sure, there are strategy? Four, there are four products. The, yeah. uh, the strategy is we, we chose to go with venue app first. Yeah. Because when a couple is planning a wedding, the very first thing that they go to are the venues. So we want to have a presence in that market. And that will also allow us with a SaaS model to be able to have income coming in, to mm -hmm. be able to float and do the other products without having to take any more money on. Um, so, so how do you make money on the venue app? Sure, it's a SaaS model, software as a service. We okay. charge an upfront design fee and then a monthly fee to keep the platform moving and, and, and making improvements on the platform. And your client is not the do-it-yourselfer in that instance? It's no. the, it's the uh, resort? It's the actual hospitality property, that's correct. Okay. So the people who are, are running weddings on their property, whether it's an estate, a hotel, or even someone who may just have a barn, which is huge these days, right? So that property would, would hire us to create an application for them that would help them with their guest experience. And it's a kind of a sales tool, mm -hmm. not necessarily bringing people to them, but once they're in their lap, they're able to say, hey, we have this product that you can allow your, your guests to uh, download and have a great experience while they're here. And what do you try? Go ahead. Oh, so, so, so Jay, you had said that you were looking for help in this industry. So can you elaborate on what kind of help you're, you're looking for? Because it's kind of implied in that is, you're having a little trouble trying to penetrate that market right now. No, sure. I think, you know, all entrepreneurs, we have a great idea and we test it and we go out and we keep validating what we're, what we're learning and, and retesting. So what we've learned in this space is that, yes, we have some good experience in the wedding industry, but hospitality industry is a little different and we're looking for someone who has really good connections within the hospitality space. To so open up some doors for you. Open up some doors so we can get in. And, 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 right. And things have started to take off. Um, it, it has been a little slow, but we're only three months old. Um, and we already have the product out moving. So we're building this foundation. And someone who has the connections to help us open a few more doors can really start to get it moving and create the momentum we need to springboard ahead. 
I have one question about the mechanics of, of, of um, where I, I could foresee a problem having worked with a lot of brides. Mm -hmm. And do they control what's on the pictures and what's in the music? Or is it a, anyone can post anything? I mean, because what I've experienced with brides, and I'm not sure what your experience was as a photographer, is that they might not like somebody else's choice of what they want to hear because they don't want the chicken dance at their wedding. <laughs> Amen so, to that. <laughs> so do they control that <laughs> when they allow this? That is correct. So there is an admin side of, of these products which allows okay. them to control much of what's happening within them. But and also crowdsources them, which the brides, millennials these days aren't question. like our old brides where everything was about them at the wedding. Okay. Everyone was catering to their mm -hmm. needs. The millennials these days are looking at this as a different experience, like they want everyone at the wedding to have a terrific experience, which is where the idea for some of these products came from. So for instance, in my in Wedding DJ app, there is, will be an admin screen that allows them to say, well, we're not going to have the chicken dance. <laughs> okay. However, it will be crowdsourced and people will be able to vote on those songs so they can vote them up. And so before the wedding, uh -huh. people will be able to see what it is that, that uh, everyone wanted to be played. So they can see that, hey, maybe, um, you know, Mustang Sally got 89 votes, right? <laughs> <laughs> but Beat It only got 49. So, you know, the, the couple might be more interested in playing a Michael Jackson song so they could push that ahead. But okay. they will have admin over it. That's correct. Good. Can, can I follow up with what Beth was talking about is the idea of each pro does each product in the future start to interact with each other? I'm, I don't know if I'm asking that the right way. Yeah. But is that what we're... They don't won't necessarily interact with each other, but they, they take on the pain points that someone experience along the way in the planning process. So for instance, Prepare to Wed is at the beginning, it's a planning tool. Right. And they have a, a mobile app that we have ability to market these other products within that specific app. So that as someone's planning their wedding and doing a, um, a checklist or a budget right on the app within Prepare to Wed, we'll be able to serve up ads for Ice by Love and Wedding DJ right. or right. ads for specific people in their area that they may not have booked yet. So we'll know if they've booked a photographer and won't necessarily need to serve up a photographer's ad in there, but we can serve up a, a, you know, a hair and ma makeup stylist in there as well. Four as products, products very interrelated. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. So is that how you're making money on that app is advertising or are you actually charging for that app as well, the Prepare to Wed? Now that would be a free app in, in the, the way we're monetizing Prepare to Wed is we want to gain this momentum and then be able to charge vendors in the long run a nominal monthly fee. Okay. Okay. So vendor, it's a but vendor directory that's, okay. that's based upon vendor to vendor relationships. If you think of something like LinkedIn, we're all connected on LinkedIn. There aren't a terribly many people paying yet, but they've created some amazing resources that are get pulling people in to have them pay. So we don't see it being a, a major fee, but a nominal fee, which spread across quite a few vendors can really create some nice revenue. Don. I, I'm, I'm going to come back to this brand sure. thing because I'm still not satisfied. Right. So. Yeah. Uh, a couple months ago, we had Chimani in. They've got multiple apps for multiple national parks. Chimani is the brand that ties them all together. Right. Is there a brand? Because Tide Creative doesn't say wedding to me. It right. just says, you know, we're creative. So is there a brand that ties all of these apps together as a family? Uh, not necessarily. That is a good question and maybe something we should look into if that's a concern from, from the panel. You guys must be seeing and that, something. And that's that something that you were trying to... Uh, the well, that's what I was trying to say, but Don, you said it better. But that's exactly my problem is that it seems like you have four different companies and there's got to be a way to brand this so that you can do a lot of um, you know, cross-selling and, and build that brand with these products together, it's more powerful. Y your sales will grow more quickly. So I think that you should look at that. I, I have one more question about the, the music app and the, uh, the iSpy. What's, uh, how are you charging for those? How are you going to make money doing this? So the way we're monetizing the Wedding DJ app, uh, it's a first mover. Many of these things aren't necessarily original to the space, uh, but Wedding DJ app is. There's no one else doing it in the marketplace. So we believe that we can create enough of a buzz around it to charge for it in the App Store, and we plan on charging around $4.99, $5 for that app. I Spy Love is it's a platform that's taking images that everyone's created at the wedding and putting them into a beautiful website for the bride and groom to be Sorry, couples these days. Mm -hmm. We have couples. To, we're in Maine. <laughs> Your market yeah. is suddenly Absolutely. doubling. Right. Maine. That's correct. There's only one way to increase the number of weddings each year from 2.2 above. <laughs> and one of those things just happened to Maine, which we're grateful for. But the idea is all these images were, were, are pulled into a website, which we're able to monetize by them buying products off of in the long run.
Okay. Can I come back to the, the DJ a, a app? Sure. So is that four ninety nine just for the couple to buy? Yep. Or does everybody voting on it also need it nope, to vote on it? Nope, the couple would need to buy that one time and then everyone else can contribute to it. Um, so you know, with 450,000 DIYs and then the opportunity to reach beyond that even, I think it has a, a large penetration. Yeah, the but that's, I mean, you need a really big penetration in order to, uh, to generate any serious money there. That, that, that yes. may be correct, but we're also, that's why we're kind of leveraging the suite of apps and um, beginning with Venue App, which is a SaaS model and something that we can get recurring revenue from to be able to drive the rest of it. Have you done projections and numbers as to how many customers you need to, to make this thing break Viable. even? Sure, we have, um, but uh, as a startup, Everything keeps changing. <laughs> right. So, you know, uh, the idea of a, a five year business plan and putting something into a, a spreadsheet um, is, is great until you actually get into the practicality of it all and you really start to move through things. One thing that we are doing right now is crowd testing some things. Mm -hmm. So, the idea of crowdfunding is out there and it's, it's kind of becoming mm -hmm. this buzz term, but crowd testing by using some of these crowdfunding platforms. So, we're putting Wedding DJ into some of these crowd. Uh, funding platforms, putting it out there for a very nominal donation amount for people to help get it moving, just to see what type of uh, pull we do get from it. So I have a, a question as far as your launch. Um, I know in the beginning when I started my businesses, um, I did a lot of wedding shows. Do you have a message that you could bring to that wedding show venue that would, would reach the people planning their weddings? Great, great question. Something quick that they could understand while they're on the fly going through a show? Yeah. Sure, well the idea is really um, with Prepare to Wed is we're creating this referral network. So as, as we bring on people within venue apps, so these venues have recommendation lists, right? So we're bringing those and combining the two within Prepare to Wed. So they're referring each other back and forth. And what we really want to do is hope to take advantage of that relationship. So when uh, someone books a venue, they can say, well, you can see all my vendors here or in this app, which then also kicks them into uh, a prepare to wed type of situation and they can get in and use the planning tools from there. So while I uh, agree that wedding shows are sometimes a good way to get in the door on things, I'm mm -hmm. not sold on that's the way forward for us. Okay, panel, uh, we're, we've got five minutes remaining in the program. So at th this is at the point where uh, you know what he's looking for. You pretty mu much uh, heard, heard his pitch. Before I ask you if there's any interest from, from any of you to work uh, with Jay, uh, do you have any other questions that you want to ask him? Are all your questions answered at this point in time? All right. Interest questions, Debbie. I think it's brilliant. Um, my concern is that if you launch it through your vendors, that they're, they're selling their place first and you take second space to that, I think your marketing plan needs to be bolder. Mm -hmm. and, and, and to the point of doing some national shows, um, you know, bring in Today Show, bring in Good Morning America, some of those contacts, because I think once it goes, it's gonna go like crazy. Which it's which it's a great idea. The, the DJ and the iSpy? Yeah, DJ, iSpy, um, I think those what? are. See, I, th I see with the venue app, that being a completely different market than mm -hmm. the other three apps that you have going. The venue app is to hospitality, to big resorts. Those aren't do-it-yourselfers. You those people are going to pay for the photographer. They're going to pay for the hair. And then your other three apps are an online push, and you're trying to go viral on that and, and get the... So I, I'm interested. Mm -hmm. I, I like the venue app, is a, I think, is a great channel, and I wish you would focus on something. I feel like you're going, you've got, you got one employee and you've got four products, and so that concerns me is the focus. He's got five employees. Four He's employees. employees. Yeah. Yeah. We do have four, four employees, employees. And, and you're correct. And we're, what we've done is chosen to focus on venue app because that is the wedge that gets people okay. in the door. Okay. All right, Don. Yeah, so uh, you've been in our Top Gun prep class. Uh, I'm looking forward to you being in Top Gun, Maine. And I think uh, on the hospitality side, we're part of Blackstone Accelerates Growth. Blackstone owns Hilton. So I think we can make some connections there. So I look forward to helping you in that regard. And I look forward to your help. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. And, and Chip? I, I have to, I, I can't add a whole lot here because I add, uh, agree with uh, Liz and the uh, difficulty or the non-clarity and uh, of the way you're 
products are set up, but how it um, channels into revenue generation. Sure. Um, however, I, I'd, I'd have to be an idiot not to want to assist. And, I mean, and, he, and as he said, mm -hmm. uh, he's not looking for money at this right. point in time. He's looking for help and resources and connection uh, in the hospitality industry. So Absolutely. Uh, with respect to the university, Chip, and Chip was also a manufacturer of men's clothing apparel <laughs> uh, for many years. <laughs> and I'm sure. Thanks, and, and uh Yes, I can. And, and Chip, uh, is there any th any uh, any of the resources from the university that might come into play here that you might be able to? Uh, well, more personal. I mean, certainly uh, business development is something that I mean all four of us uh, do. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not. I mean, if that's a, a focus of yours, especially from the venue app, um, I, I can't see any one of us not. But before any. we approach a, a hospitality uh, group. Uh, you think a lot more work needs to be done in terms of refining that venue app? Uh, is uh, that what I'm? I've seen the app. Um, so we need to know and look at the competition, and, every, and, um, and if it really isn't out there, then I do think it's a resource um, that that many hospitality industry does not, that is not out there yet. So um, I, I do believe we're ahead of the curve, yeah. and you know I appreciate everything that you guys have said, and, and we'll take all of that to heart. Who would you? Uh, this this four here. Is there anybody in particular you'd like to work with? I I, I hear that all four want to participate with you and work with you. In your team, Jay, uh, is there a lead that you'd like to, to work with at this point in time? Well, since we'll be doing some of work within, uh, with Don's organization, Hugh, I appreciate uh, anything that you can bring to the table. But I think if um, Elizabeth would be willing, she challenged me the most. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so Debbie also challenged But Debbie too. challenged me, and she has experience in the industry. I, I wasn't, uh, I'm not as, as aware of her background. So... Um, if Elizabeth would want to challenge me a little bit more and let me come to you and, and define Great. what we're doing, I would appreciate any help we would be able to We only that. have a few more seconds left, but uh, we're going to wrap. Uh, Jay, great job. Yep, thank you, thank sir. You thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank I appreciate you. your Panel, time. Thank you. Listeners, uh, viewers, thank you very much. We appreciate that. And stay tuned for our next show. Thank you. Good job. Uh, mm -hmm. Just, uh, yeah.